I'm Olaoluwa Bamibuye. I'm the uh, CEO of Heads and Heralds AgroLight Limited. We went to livestock feed production. We, uh, li we mill livestock feed using byproducts from uh, different uh, companies like uh, distilleries, like flour mills, and other companies. Their byproducts is our input for making livestock feed. So we try and position ourselves as a circularity champion in livestock feed production in Nigeria and neighboring countries uh, in, in Africa. Basically, so rather than use uh, grains, which is like maize, soya beans, and the other things that compete for human production, because you know, human beings eat grains like soya beans, like maize, and the same thing for animals. And bulk of the uh, production goes to animals. So we are trying to look for alternative feed ingredients that will serve as raw materials for livestock feed production. So rather than use the grains, we look for brewer dry grain, we look for wheat offal, we look for cassava bagasse, I mean different stuff that with as waste for industries are now raw materials for our feed production. So we don't depend on grains for production of livestock feed, we depend on waste of our industries as uh, the main component for our feed production. We've been doing this for, for seven years now. The industry trying to initially we were trading and then we saw the need to consolidate because we trade with uh, different industries like supply, box supply to different uh, feed companies, uh, livestock companies. So we just felt the need to have a local place that where people can walk in to request for all these things by themselves and eventually we have a line of production for the masses. We supply feed for cattle, sheep and goats. We supply fish for feed for fish, for rabbits, and uh, anything, anything livestock, we supply their feed. Business has been very interesting. Uh, I mean, even for COVID year, it was like a major breakthrough for us because, like I said, you know, there's competition for, for grains, but seeing that that's not been able, to, uh, people couldn't produce as much, and then the only uh, source for livestock feed was from waste. I mean, the ones that we've, we've stored up initially, and then we could churn, churn that out for for the masses. And even till now, so recently, uh, the the assistance uh, by uh, by the bank, Providence Bank, has brought us into the limelight to uh, to assist us with with sourcing. I mean, even the banking partnership after the training with our Enterprise Development Center, they brought us into. I mean, exposure for, for, for resources, just to get more resources to work with. So it's been interesting pretty much. The most interesting part of the program was uh, strategy. You know, strategy, strategizing, working with people, working with, I mean, not just yourself, not just your personnel, not just your staff, not just, you know, your company. You're working with suppliers, you're working, so you need to strategize on how best to work and get results, optimizing your, uh, your structure and your operation. As well, I mean, we understand, I understand that uh, structure is in phases. You can't just have a structure and that's, you know, hook, line, sinker, that's the, 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 the document and that's it forever. So it has to evolve over time as people come, as new suppliers come, as new customers come, as new development technologies come, you have to, you know, update the structure. So that, that's the best thing for me so far. I mean, other things are there, networking with people, meeting people, and then, you know, the exposure, the ambience and everything. So. But pretty much strategy session was you know super for me. So it has helped me uh, prepare documents, strategy documents for myself. But I had to sit down by myself, you know, do I still use some templates that you know they gave us in class? I prepared my own document with my team, not just a CEO's document, is a team document that we all sat down to work with, and then we have this template that we're working with, and even today we have executed what was documented that we have to do. As that 9th of September 2022, we I mean today we have already, already done that. So for Providence Bank, I mean I see the bank before now as okay, bank of the the you know the big boys, the top shots. I mean maybe you can't just access the bank and like and then they came to us to say that no, no, this is bank for everybody. We I mean even beyond uh, you know banking operations normally, which is just people think you know receiving and maybe uh, giving our facility, they came to assist and support SMEs, which to me is a lot because 
we see ourselves as entrepreneurs, as our government, because we provide our lights, our, I mean, everything pretty much by ourselves. We don't see too much of assistance. Providence came with capacity development and then they're even offering facilities. So for me, it's a big thank you for Providence Bank for what they are doing and you know for what they did. I'm, I'm pretty much impressed and I'm sure that uh, the sky is just a starting uh, point. Thank you very much.